Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we're going to be photographing a pretty large bird of prey which about 30 years ago wouldn't have been possible to do. It's the red kite and throughout much of the 1900s this bird was almost extinct from the UK. There were very very small numbers left in Wales but thanks to a reintroduction in 1989 about 30 miles from here in the Chiltern Hills the population is now thriving so hopefully I'll be able to show you some of these magnificent birds. And whilst we're at it, I will, as always, keep my eyes peeled for any other wildlife, which around here could be buzzards, could be brown hare, potentially deer as well. And depending on what the weather does in a few hours time, maybe even barn owls. Um, but the main focus is red kites. So yeah, let's go and try and find some. It's pretty windy today. Um, I'll do my best to, to avoid sort of wind in the mic, but um, yeah, it might not be possible, but really nice conditions, nice sunlight, some nice clouds as well. So some good opportunities here for some good shots. quite a few red kites now um, all the other side of this valley here so um, it's been cool to see but I'm gonna head over there and see if I can get a little bit closer Wow, that was really cool. Just out of nowhere, over the horizon, this uh, red kite comes up. Hold on. Kestrel, there's a kestrel as well. Hold on, hold on. You know, it is just so nice to be amongst wildlife which has been reintroduced successfully because a lot of people might not realize but we've lost 69 percent of our global wildlife since 1970 that is a massive amount and we are in serious danger of losing everything and the uk is one of the most nature depleted countries on the planet um which is really worrying but there is good news red kite reintroductions eagle reintroductions are going on beaver reintroductions up and down the country pine martins as well who keep the gray squirrels in check which means that maybe the red squirrels can return all of this wildlife is so important for building a healthy ecosystem and it benefits us not just mentally it doesn't just benefit the wildlife as well it benefits us economically as well um red kite one second Sorry, as I was saying, it's, yeah, this wildlife has a, incredible benefits for, for us. So we really need to look after it. And it's, it gives me such joy to see it in its natural habitat. 
um, and doing really well, population's thriving. So yeah, it's a real joy to be out here and be able to see them. So just watch with this kestrel. The way it hovers is so windy, but if you watch its body, it just stays still and it uses its tail as a rudder. Um, it's absolutely amazing, the kind of like the physics of it. And it's similar with red kites. They've got this massive forked tail. And again, they use it as a rudder in the wind. So you can just see it sort of moving like this. Um, and it's, yeah, it's wicked. Um, the kind of the aerodynamics of these birds of prey are absolutely incredible. So the weather's come in a little bit now. It's um, it's raining quite a lot, and um, yeah, it's not it's not great. But I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stay here because this is meant to clear in about half an hour or so. And um, it's clearly a good spot. It's um, yeah, I've seen a few red kites. I've seen the kestrel as well. And importantly, it's sort of slightly out of the wind, which is um, obviously good because means you can hear me, and um, also means I'm not um, getting freezing cold whilst I'm sat here. Yeah, I've, I've packed my gear away just for the moment because um, yeah, I just don't want it to get too wet. The Canon 7D Mark II is weatherproof and so is the lens I'm using, but right now there's there's not a lot going on and um, in this rain as well, I'm not going to get any great shots. The lighting's really pretty poor right now. So um, yeah, put everything away for the moment, but I'll bring it out in about half an hour or so, hopefully. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it'll be um, a really lovely evening. So, yeah, just a few minutes after I said I was going to keep my equipment dry, um, this has happened. Yeah, basically two red kites just came straight over the hill and, and towards me and we were just flying around here for ages so I just had to get the camera back out um, and then it just started chucking it down with rain. Um, looks like now that might be the end of it so yeah just had to happen when the rain was at its heaviest but hopefully it's worth it i don't know what the what the pitch is and what the footage is going to be like um yeah i'll share that with you in a minute if it's any good and if not then that'll be pretty annoying but the um generally the weatherproofing on this stuff is pretty good so um, yeah i'm not too worried So I'm actually cheating a bit here by closing off the video uh, a couple of days later than I filmed it because it just, yeah, it was really windy, it was wet, I was getting quite cold, so headed home and actually the pictures that I got were way better than I, than I thought they were on the day. Um, so I'm going to show you them in a minute, but before I do that, I've had an absolutely amazing experience because I never see Rhoda here and there was one just down in the valley and it was wicked, so cool to see.
course, I hate to sort of ask, but I've got this really ambitious target of, of 2,000 subscribers in 2023. So if you have enjoyed the content, that I would then, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate you, you considering subscribing. And, and hopefully I'll see you on the channel again soon. But I will leave you here with these few images I got of the red kites the other day. <laughs>